What is diabetic ketoacidosis? Diabetic ketoacidosis is a mouthful, which is why you'll often hear it referred to as DKA for short. DKA is an uncommon but serious complication of uncontrolled diabetes, seen more frequently in people with type 1 diabetes, an autoimmune condition characterized by the absolute lack of insulin production. But DKA can occur rarely in type 2 diabetes as well, particularly in conditions such as ketosis-prone diabetes or during the use of a specific class of oral medications used to treat diabetes called SGLT2 inhibitors. Regardless of the type of diabetes, the most common reasons for DKA are illness, infection, or the omission of insulin. The focus of this video is to review how DKA develops by telling an underwater tale about ketones. Think of ketones as a fat-filled soda, acid fuel, made by the liver. The complicated story of ketones cannot be explained without reviewing the relationship between three key parts of the body, all of which are involved in ketone formation. If ketones are a fat-filled soft drink, then 1. The pancreas can be thought of as the part of the body that regulates soda production. It exerts this control via the action of the hormone insulin. 2. Adipose tissue, more commonly referred to as fat, is where the ingredients of the lipid-loaded thirst quencher are stored. 3. And the liver is the manufacturing plant and serving station where the soda is shipped out to the body for use. The pancreas. In DKA, insulin, the critical pancreatic hormone needed for glucose to enter cells and be used as energy, is in short supply. In fact, in DKA, there is an absolute absence of insulin. Regardless of how much glucose is circulating in the bloodstream, without insulin, none of it can be absorbed into the cell. This leads to markedly elevated blood sugar levels seen in those with DKA. Adipose tissue, fat. Insulin is a storage hormone. It is not only responsible for pushing sugar into the cell for use, but also helps keep fat in its stored form inside adipose cells. The lack of insulin in DKA causes fatty acids to spill out from the adipose tissue and into the bloodstream. The liver. Once mobilized, the released fat travels from the fat towards the liver. In the liver, ketones are produced by breaking down fatty acids. Ketones are a form of acid that can be used by the body as an alternative form of energy when the preferred source of energy, glucose, is in short supply. In DKA, however, since there is no insulin available at all, the ketones generated from the effective lack of glucose continue to build unchecked, ultimately leading to an acid shift in the blood pH. This harmful change in pH, caused by the uncontrolled buildup of acidic ketones, is called ketoacidosis. In diabetic ketoacidosis, acidic ketones build up to toxic levels, leading to a harmful change in the blood pH that is not compatible with life in the long term. If untreated, ketoacidosis is life-threatening. The signs and symptoms of DKA are related to the buildup of both ketones in the body and elevated blood sugar levels. The change in blood pH, as well as the ketones themselves, causes abdominal pain and nausea, often with severe vomiting. High glucose levels in the bloodstream lead to fatigue and increased glucose filtering through the kidneys far above what they can handle. This results in excess, unabsorbed sugar in the urine that drags water out of the body with it, causing excessive urination 
dehydration, and even acute injury to the kidney. Not only is glucose lost in the urine during DKA, but so too are essential electrolytes, such as potassium and phosphorus. Multiple electrolyte abnormalities may be seen on blood work when the DKA is first recognized. In severe cases of DKA, some of the excess ketones in the body are converted to a substance called acetone in the lungs. This results in a fruity-smelling breath. The Treatment for DKA The treatment for DKA is to replace what is desperately missing, insulin. In addition to plenty of intravenous fluids to revive the dehydration injured body and replace missing electrolytes. What's important to understand is that insulin is what the body needs to put out the ketoacetotic fire. Insulin is what allows the body to absorb the circulating glucose into the cells for energy so that no further ketones are made.